We are here at El Rosario, the sanctuary of the monarch butterflies. <laughs> here to see the monarch butterflies. I guess there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them all clustered up there on vacation from Canada here in Mexico. And we're gonna hike up there and see them. And I'm so excited. Before we go see the butterflies, I wanna catch you up on our journey into Mexico so far. We crossed the border into Mexico in Eagle Pass and it was pretty uneventful other than having to unload the entire car at the checkpoint. Then we headed over to the office where we got our TIP and FMM paperwork. We're good to go for 180 days. We're allowed to be here. The good start to Mexico. <laughs> we got some money out of an ATM and hit the road. We drove through some really pretty scenery on the way and it took us about three days, basically driving all day to get here. We found this great campsite only five minutes away from the excursion. Good. Woke up the next day bright and early, excited to see some butterflies. So we just got here and it looks like everything is closed, like the gates are shut and everything is really grown up in there. But, oh whoa! We looked online, there's a hotel nearby where people are leaving reviews saying the butterfly tour is great. <laughs> so we'll go to the bread and breakfast and uh, maybe just get some breakfast and then go on a butterfly tour, Ooh. hopefully. To the next place! Turns out they didn't have butterflies either, but they did have a good breakfast and this cute little tea kettle. Here we also met Vicente and he took us on a hike up a mountain where we saw all kinds of beautiful flowers, cool birds. The mountain where the butterflies used to come and even the way the villagers collected the sap from trees. He also told us where we could find the butterflies this year, and unfortunately, it was two hours back the way we came. <laughs> but the drive was beautiful, and we made it in time for sunset, and we made a friend and named her Rabies. Good morning. We made it to the butterflies. The first one that we went to was sadly the butterflies weren't there, but this one, they're actually here. It is a lot more crowded though. <laughs> like we got here last night and we went to the entrance and there's tons of people everywhere. Like You can't even come up here on yeah. the weekends. This gets completely full obviously, yeah. but there's like giant parking lots, like several football fields that are just full of tour buses and yeah. people's cars. It's pretty painful. Luckily, <laughs> during the week, it's not like that. Yesterday was Sunday and when we were at that other parking lot, there were people nonstop like coming up and being like, buy this, buy this. Even like little kids coming up and be like, can we clean your shoes? Let us clean your shoes. Give us money, clean your shoes. There's hustling around here, but it's pretty early right now. So no one's really set up their shops yet. People are just starting to. So we haven't been pestered too much yet, but we're gonna wait a little bit because it said in the mornings, the butterflies aren't as active. So they're cold. So they're just kind of hanging in clusters on the trees. But if you go later, when it's sunny and warm, then they're like flying all over the place. So we're gonna wait to do that. But that's the entrance right over there. Oh, there it is. It's happening. We're gonna see the butterflies. Wow. It's not super late yet. There's one. Oh. But I think it's warm enough for them to be flying around. Yes. The entrance fee for your car is 80 pesos and the entrance fee per person was 100 pesos. We also tipped our guide Jose 50 pesos, so we spent a total of 20 US dollars on this awesome experience. The monarch butterfly migration is pretty insane. 
They fly almost 3,000 miles from Canada to Mexico every fall to spend the winter in the mountains a few hours west of Mexico City. It's kind of funny because we also were in Canada this summer and then came to Mexico for the winter. I don't know how far we are. I don't know how far up it is. We're plodding along. And we can already see butterflies like flying around. It's supposed to be quiet. Which is hard for me every time I see them. <laughs> There are a few generations of monarch butterflies every year. Normally, their lifespan is only like two to six weeks as adults, but the butterflies that make the trek to Mexico for the winter, typically the fourth generation, the super butterflies that we're gonna see today, this generation can live for up to nine months. Once they get here, they hang out in the mountains, clustering in fir trees and mating. Another interesting thing, the Mexican holiday, Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, also happens when the monarchs show up. According to the traditional belief, the monarchs are the souls of ancestors who are returning to Earth for their annual visit. They're pretty cool. It's pretty amazing that butterflies can even get to Mexico in the first place, let alone the exact same mountaintop. It won't be for another four generations that the next swarm of butterflies are coming to Mexico. So how, you may ask, could they possibly find the way? Monarch butterflies have a circadian clock in their brain that helps them know what time it is. They also have a second clock based on their antenna, which sends light. So they use those two things together, kind of like a compass, to make it the mountaintop that we're hiking up today. Here's some tips if you're planning on coming to see the butterflies. Come on a weekday, make sure the day that you come on the weekday is a sunny day, and get there early, but not too early. <laughs> when it's cold out, they just sit in clusters on the trees, but as it starts to warm up and the sun comes out, they start getting really active. But the later in the day it is, the more people that are there. So we came at like the perfect time. The butterflies were just starting to become active when we got there and there was only one other couple. For us, it was around 9.30 or 10, but I don't know what time it'll be for you. Due to urbanization, pesticides, and deforestation, the monarch butterfly migratory population is dwindling. Where there were once many mountaintops filled with monarchs, now there's only a few. Not only are the monarchs important pollinators, Scientists estimate that about 75% of the world's flowering plants and about 35% of the world's food crop depend on animal pollinators to produce. And while they aren't as big of pollinators as bees are, they play an important role by being what's called a flagship species for conservation. Meaning that monarchs are beautiful, lovable, and inspiring, so people are more likely to get on board with protecting them. And by promoting habitat restoration for monarchs, other pollinators are also benefiting. Monarchs are also a main source of revenue for people like Vicente and his family. It's very good because uh, they support uh, my community, yeah. my people. Because if you rent the horses, uh, uh, the people, my people have a, a little bit money, extra yeah. money in the place. Uh, it's very good if you yeah. the tourists come. In the town of Macheros that we visited before we were coming to El Rosario, a large amount of the population in that town depends on the tourists visiting to provide work for them. But when the butterflies don't come, like this year, to Vicente's town, people there suffer. Monarchs are a huge learning opportunity for kids in school, too. My mom planted milkweed in her garden, which brought the monarchs to lay eggs, and 10-year-old me got to watch the whole process, ending in me holding the newly hatched butterfly in my palm while its wings dried before it flew off for the first time. That was a super memorable experience, and I want future generations to be able to experience that too. So if you're wondering how you can help keep the butterflies aloft and safe on their journey south, it's actually pretty easy. Just plant some milkweed. Since milkweed is the only place monarchs will lay eggs and the sole food source for the larva monarchs, you can help by planting some milkweed at your house. And by doing that, you'll help the butterflies and probably get to see them do their whole chrysalis thing, and it's a blast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on our way to Playa del Carmen.